ओके नाउ वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड लीनियर नॉन लीनियर डाटा स्ट्रक्चर्स ओके इन लीनियर डाटा स्ट्रक्चर्स वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड मेनी फर्स्ट इज दैट अरे एंड देन लिंक लिस्ट एंड अगर द लिंक लिस्ट दैट इज सिंगल लिंक लिस्ट डबली लिंक लिस्ट सर्कल सर्कल लिंक सर्कुलर लिंक लिस्ट ओके and then um, after that we try to understand what uh, stacks and the queues they are all la linear data structures okay and on non linear data structures so as i told you that in the starting in non linear data structure data can't be <coughs> stored in a sequential manner it means data cannot be the elements uh, in non linear data structure so the elements can't be arranged in a sequential order okay in linear data structures data will be stored in sequential manner but here data elements can't be stored in sequential order that's why they are called non linear okay next is what insertion and removal of data it is not not feasible means not uh, possible in a linear manner because we can't remove ins insert the data elements otherwise removing of any data in a linear manner is not possible okay there is a hierarchical relationship between the individual data items okay the relation between the values data means any data values there is a relation of hierarchical relation means a tree tree relation the hierarchical relation with tree uh, relation types of non linear data structures one is the tree and next one is graph okay first we will try to understand tree so this is the structure of uh, this is called uh, this is called hierarchical hierarchical means a tree from this is the main okay this is called central means root from here another this is a node and from this another node is connected from this this is connected this is connected like this okay this is a tree a tree structure okay so here what happen try to understand in trees tree is a example of non linear data structure so here a hierarchical structure containing collection of nodes many nodes are there every node in a tree stores a value and a list of references every node this is called one node this is called one node so this node consists of a value and refer list of reference to other nodes suppose this node is connected with this node and this connect node is connected with this node so it it must have two references one reference one pointer towards this node and one pointer towards this node that reference is my pointer the pointer having address so this node is connected with this node so two references it is having having two reference means two memory addresses already i told you that memory address is called a pointer so this node consists every node consists of a value and list of references to others other nodes the other nodes are called child nodes this is the main node okay now now what happen the tree data structure it is a way so to arrange and collect data in computer okay in the memory okay it is the tree data structure is the efficient way to store the data in computer's memory and to take back collect the data okay so as i told you it contains a central node they are called central node is called so for this for this structure for this structure this is the central node for this structure this is the central node okay so that is called this for central node and then structural nodes sub nodes connected via edges this is the edge okay this node is node is connected with this node through an edge okay now it consists of roots we can also means we can also say that tree data structure consists of root this is the main starting point that is called root and these are branches suppose for this node this is the this is the branch for this this is the branch okay and leaf nodes leaf nodes are what 
the nodes which are at the last level they are called leaves this is called level 1 whenever the the main root is that is level 0 okay and then from the root whatever the nodes are connected that is level 1 okay and from suppose this is the parent node this is the parent node okay now these are called child nodes otherwise subtree okay now this is the level 2 and for these these two will be called as siblings parents siblings of parent 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 has child they are called siblings okay brother and sister relation so called siblings okay this is the level 2 then after level 3 so last is called leaf nodes level 4 leaf nodes means if whenever it is leaf node means at the end of there is no any then after there is no any node is there a leaf node is the last node okay now this is the structure of a tree data structure so the trees can be classified into different types so we are studying the basics okay first of all we need to study actually what is uh, data structure as i told you that the way how to store the data in computer's memory that is the data structure structure mean structuring means organizing data in computer memory so that we can access it very efficient manner data structure so data structures uh, initially i told primitive prim primitive data structures which are the basic data structures they will we use it to store single values then after by the help of uh, primitive data structures uh, non primitive data structures will be created non primitive under the non primitive two types again okay there what uh, linear and non linear uh, li under linear the data will be stored in sequential manner like arrays okay linked list and stacks and queues then a non linear data structure uh, tree i am explaining the tree again it has been classified into different types one is the binary tree okay binary search tree bst avl tree b tree four trees are there what is binary tree so binary tree a tree data structure where each parent node can have at most two children is termed as binary tree if a parent node is there at least that binary tree should have at least two children so if any parent is this is the parent at least two children now this is called binary tree okay two so a binary tree a tree data structure where each parent node can have at most two children termed as binary tree so this is a parent the parent has at least two children so now suppose if it is a parent it has only one children so no not like that if it is a parent it has two children now it is called binary tree so next binary search a binary search tree is a tree data structure where we can easily maintain a sorted list of numbers so binary search means within, within the binary tree we can do the search operation means we can sort sort is what we can sort the tree binary uh, tree sorting operation ascending order and descending order sort out okay we can sort out the list in ascending order and descending order so if data structure is arranged in such a manner where we can easily maintain the sorting operations like what ascending and descending that is called binary search a binary search tree is a tree data structure where we can easily maintain a sorted list of numbers next is what avl tree avl tree is a self balancing binary search tree where each node maintains extra information known as a balance factor whose value whenever we will study avl tree we will understand this minus one zero plus one whatever factor okay now b tree b tree is special type of self balancing binary search tree so we will study all uh, whenever we will consider them okay some applications of trees these are so many applications have been given here so whenever we will use them ground ground we will try to understand under decision making in gaming applications trees are they will be responsible for they will be used in decision making in gaming applications 